Advent is a season of expectation and preparation for each of us. It is also a wonderful time as family and as friends that we gather to prepare for the coming of Jesus into our own lives and into the lives of our family and our parish community. Each of us has experience with preparation. We prepare ourselves for a hockey game um, in making sure that we have our equipment and our jersey and all of those things. We also spend time in practice. But we also spend time before a game in preparing ourselves mentally. Are we ready for the game? What are the, what are the plays I have to remember? Uh, how do I have to behave uh, as a player uh, on a team? We also prepare ourselves for school, for work, um, and for family activities. And that is what we hope to do in this little video this afternoon, is to help families prepare for the coming season of Advent with the making of an Advent wreath. Nancy Day, our Faith Formation Coordinator, will guide you in a way that you can make this Advent wreath as a family. Hopefully it will be a time of sharing, of laughter, and of simply being together during this busy time of year. The Advent candle, with its three purple candles and one pink, together they represent the journey leading up to Christmas when Jesus our Savior, the Messiah, will come into our world. He is the real light that we are waiting for. But as a family, once the candle is made, the wreath is made, uh, it's a wonderful opportunity each week to light the candle. And over the coming weeks, the light will become brighter, um, which will be a sign of Jesus coming into our world, who is the main light. And our lives, through our baptism, we are meant to shine that light every day of our lives. So it's our hope that during this, this time of preparation, that you will continue to journey as a family, either through coming and joining us here on the weekend at our Masses, or watching us on Mass on, on, on video or Facebook. It is an opportunity to be together. So on behalf of Father Conrad and myself and our parish team, we extend to you our joyous wishes for a happy Christmas with your family and with your friends and enjoy this little activity and may it shine brightly in your homes. Hi everyone, my name is Nancy Dam, St. Joseph's Parish in Port Hawkesbury. I'm delighted to be with you today to share a small Advent tutorial. As Deacon Berkeley mentioned in his opening remarks, we are preparing for the season of Advent the next four weeks. It is a time of preparing in anticipation for the coming of Jesus. And one way to do that is by making an Advent wreath. Now let's begin our tutorial. I will share with you some of the materials that can be used, but please use whatever you have at home. I tried to give you things that you may be able to access easily. One great place to go would be our local dollar store. They have lots of things I will show you today. So let's get started. Here we have real evergreen that can be used if you have access to trees in your backyard and you want to chop down some evergreen. Uh, these would be wonderful and smell wonderful. And this is what we use in our parish when we make our advent wreath. You can also use artificial evergreen which can be purchased at dollar store. If you're using the real evergreen, you'll need some wire. You will need some ribbon, pink and purple if you're using white tapered candles, which I have here today. And you would uh, put the ribbon on the candles, just as I have done here. You can also use the bigger white candles, which can also be found at our local dollar store. You can put ribbon around those as well. And for those that have we little people at home or animals and don't want to use real fire, uh, I have something here for you. We have a toilet paper roll. 
which can be cut in half as I've done here. And then you can take one of these battery operated candles and put it inside to measure and just tape it. And then if you have pink or purple paper at home, you can do that or you can allow the children to color them pink and purple. And this is what they look like once they are done. And it's a safe way to use artificial fire for your wreath. So let's begin. I'm going to use artificial greenery that I purchased at the dollar store. Just use the branches to make the round wreath. Just kind of tie them together to form your circle. And then we will place our candle holders, our four candle holders inside the wreath. And depending on what kind of candle you're using, today we will be using our taper candles. We will place our first week candle inside our candle holder, which is the candle of hope. It's purple. We will place our second candle for our second week of Advent. And that candle is the candle of peace. Our third candle, we will place the pink ribbon and it is the candle of joy. Our fourth candle is purple, and that is the candle of love. So if you want to replace these candles, if you have children, animals at home, and you don't feel safe with the real candles, you can take these out and just replace them with your uh, toilet paper rolls. And that makes a beautiful display as well. And that's what that looks like. And then you can place a little purple bow. And now we have completed our tutorial on an Advent wreath. I want to thank you for joining me today. But before I say goodbye, I want to tell everyone that you can access our week masses on YouTube, Facebook, and if you would like to see all the great work our parish is doing, you can always visit our My Parish app at myparishapp.com, which is free to download. And all these links will be provided below, as well as the prayers for the four weeks of Advent. And also there will be one for our younger children. So with all that said, I wish you a lovely Advent season.